Hey everybody, welcome to Review Time with Islip. I am Islip, and today we're going to be taking a look at this Lego set. Yes, we're working at, this is the third and uh, final Lego set we're going to be looking at. Um, just wanted to kind of, not, not that I want to get these out the way like there's something wrong with them. I just, you know, Lego sets are not necessarily the selling point of coming to my channel. I know everybody comes for my Transformers reviews, and that's fine. Uh, but I do like other things too, and uh, this is one of the other things I like. It's Lego. Oh, excuse me. Legos. Um, this is the Lego Mr. Freeze Bat Cycle Battle, and with this you get three figures, and you get uh, 2.5 vehicles. And I'll explain to you that in a minute, as soon as I turn the box around. And the reason is because you get the two bat cycles, which merge into one bat vehicle. And you also get a little snow uh, snowmobile that Mr. Freeze rides on. So this set has how much? How many pet parts? This set has 200 pieces. This took me took me about three hours to do, but I was also watching watching YouTube videos at the same time of non-related things as I was doing. I was just taking my time and enjoying my build. So let's go ahead and get everybody into frame. Load the camera up a little bit. There we go. So we have Batman and Robin and Mr. Freeze with a bowl on his head. So let me go ahead and we're going to pop everybody off their vehicles and we'll look at them really quick, especially Batman since we've already I've already shown off uh I've already shown off two Batman. I think he's my third Batman, maybe my fourth. I don't remember. So here is the Batman. He is actually different than the other Batman I got, let me grab him out if I can. I think he's, yeah, is he different? Oh no, he's the he's the same. He's more he's different than the Lego the Lego um, Dimensions version that I got. Uh, let's see under the hood. Same same face. So it's the same character. So we're not gonna waste more time on him. Put your hat back on, Mr. Batman. I watched the uh, Lego Batman movie the other day. I like it. I am not afraid or ashamed to say that I like it. Here we have Robin who looks looks fairly cool. I like this Robin much better than the one in the Lego Batman movie. I mean, he was okay, but this Batman, I mean, this Batman, this Robin, um, this is the one that doesn't show off all the skin, so it's not quite so... Uh, pedophilic and he comes with swords which I don't think I have any guys that came with with swords so he comes with swords and they um, at least one of them stores on the vehicle uh, Batman's bat batarangs one of them stores on his vehicle and it's pretty cool it's, you know Legos they bend at the they move at the shoulders they move at the wrist the head moves the feet oh his feet don't move his feet don't move. His feet are static. I didn't notice that. Oh, that kind of sucks. Batman's uh, legs move, and so does Mr. Freeze's. But his? Nope. Nope. His? Oh, you know what? Is he shorter? Ah, that's why. Because he's shorter. His legs. That's why his legs don't... That doesn't make any sense, though. It could have... I guess it would have just been like the the hump and then the legs so I guess I can kinda understand that and then we've got Mr. Freeze and he's got a fishbowl uh, a little plastic fishbowl that fits over his head he has a gun that doesn't shoot it's you know it's not one of those like the other ones where everybody else gets one that has a Lego piece that you press it and it shoots um, it took me forever to find this piece here uh, it, it's it's in there, it's in the box, but it might take a while for you to find it. He he uh, has a nice, nice little painted on stuff. He's got painted on detail even underneath. Like if you take his head off, you can take the thing that his backpack is on off, and he has 
more stuff underneath it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I think that is nice. He has a black... I don't know why he has a, a silver strip on the back of his head. I don't know what that's for, but it's there in case you wanted a silver strip on the back of his head. Um... I'm not sure how well he stands. He doesn't stand very well with all this stuff on. His uh, gun is just really, really heavy. So unless you have him pegged into a whatchamacallit or have the gun paint, uh, facing down, he is not going to stand. Uh, he has the standard Lego articulation legs, arms, head moves, but you have to take the fishbowl off because the fishbowl kind of turns instead. Um... I'm not sure what these, I guess that's part of the, yeah, never mind. So, let's take a look at the little vehicles. We'll take a look at Mr. Freeze's first, since his is the, the tiniest and has the least amount of gimmicks on it, as in there are none. Um, it's a pretty nice little snowmobile, I like it. Uh, these pieces can fold up for reasons, and so can this. Uh, oh, I guess it can't. It it can, but you end up popping the back of the thing off, so it's not meant to. Um, these can be angled however you want, and uh, that's about it. It's got a little, a little clear piece. I guess that's meant for you to to slide it around. Uh, I'm not sure why that's that's needed because because it keeps the the back thing from from uh, touching the ground but hey it's there then we've got Robin's half of the um, Robin's bat cycle which is half of a bigger vehicle which is why it's so what is the word uh, I was gonna say asexual not asexual asymmetrical and uh, I don't like asymmetrical so when I have this thing it's usually never like this um, the, about the only asymmetry I allow is the, the weapon storage. Uh, otherwise, he's got um, this thing here, which uh, it, it's it's got a gun grip for some reason. But uh, I guess so you can. I don't know. I don't know why that gun grip is there. You can't really use it while he's maybe when if you turn it the other way, he can reach over and no, he can't because he's got no actual articulation anyway this thing rolls not very well this wheel for some reason is it's rubbing against here so it doesn't roll very well but it can roll if you push down it, it'll roll um, it has a lot of detail there uh, stickers so there are stickers with this particular set the um the Batmobile set came with I think like one sticker uh, and then this is what the inside of the vehicle looks like. It's kind of blah. You know, it looks a little weird. And we'll get to that in a minute, if you haven't already figured it out. Here is the other one. And it's pretty much the mirror image of the first one, save that we have a Batarang instead of a sword. At least on this side, it's a mirror image. We've got, uh, again, sticker detail. This one rolls better for some reason. But if we turn this around, you can see that we have storage for a grappling hook, which is different. We also have a little gun here that shoots a missile that I just lost. And let me let me get that missile real quick. Because it's going to bother me the rest of the review. Ugh. Sorry about that. I'm not really keen on these missile things and then you can see that there is a new section here with gray plugs let me go ahead and put batman's batarang back which you can shoot his grappling hook i should say but it doesn't it doesn't have a um a rope so but batman he holds it just fine he holds it like you know it's a grappling hook so of course he holds it in his arm so he can get quick getaways by grappling hook up because he's batman and, um, yeah. So the figures, they just plug in here, standing up, like so. And then, 
you can plug these two sections in. Let me put the put this back on because I like I like weapon storage. I'm I'm a weapon storage dude. I like when things have a decent play and it, it looks decent once everything's together. You, you don't notice it that much. Shoot, I just launched a damn thing. Okay. It's, am I zoomed in? No, I'm not. Okay. And it's raining, so if you hear pitter-patter, pitter-patter, that's what it is. It's just to rain outside. Okay, and then you just take these and plug them together, and voila, you get the bat thing. I mean, I don't know if I'd call it a cycle. It's not really a motorcycle anymore. Let's go ahead and let's take take this out. That's annoying me. Get in there, Robin. Oh, great, I popped this piece off. There we go. Okay, there we go, Robin. And there we have the dynamic duo and their dynamic duo vehicle and again one of these moves and one of these does not now there's a bunch of stickers there's a, even a sticker here um i don't mind stickers i don't like a lot of stickers if i'm honest with you but i don't mind stickers on my toys uh these little bat fin things can go up if you need them to i don't know why you would but they can and that's about it i mean it rolls it would roll great if uh, Robin's freaking wheel wouldn't be rubbing up on whatever it is. Everything else rolls pretty good. Um, yeah, it's a it's a nice little set. I don't have a, a Robin or a Mr. Freeze, so now I have a Robin and a Mr. Freeze. So, yay! I've got tag team action. I mean, it's, I have three Batman now, but you know, it's okay. There we go, and get Mr. Freeze on his little, you know, and, and of course other Lego figures can fit on these as well. This is, you know, like a universal thing, so if I wanted to, I could put, um, like, Joker on here, and I'm having such issue with everything popping off all of a sudden, because of course I'm doing this on camera, and that's what's messing me up. Of course I'm blaming it on the camera, of course it's the camera messing me up, and not really, it's... Okay, let's see, this would go, where did this go? This went, oh, yeah, that goes in like that. Or, actually, it was the other way, like this. And then we put him in here, and we pop everything off. There, there we go. So we've got... The dynamic duel against Mr. Freeze. And um, it's a nice, again, it's a nice set. I actually like the, the Lego sets that I have bought. I actually do enjoy them. So I'm probably not going to say anything bad about them. Um, I've had some building brick sets before that weren't the greatest. Uh, I've had a, uh, let's see, like the Creo, the Creo sets. I gave them to my nephews. They're okay, but they're not. Um, first off, they weren't in scale with Legos. So that was the first no-no. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, though, I mean, this thing is, is pretty nice. It's pretty awesome. It's not as good as... Well, I, I shouldn't say awesome. It's pretty nice. It's pretty okay. It's not as, as good as the Batmobile, which I forgot to bring out for scale. So, I knew it was something I forgot to do. Okay, Mr. Batman, we have to get you into your seat, please. All Batman must be seated during the video. So, let's go ahead and... Okay, so you can see that the Bat Cycle is literally half the size of the Batmobile. And Mr. Freeze's, uh... His, uh... It's not even close. Not even close. It's not even... It's like a fourth of the size. And, uh, of course, here's the Ecto-1. And we'll take Mr. Freeze. And you can see, again, it's about a third of the size. And this is... Um, 
uh, about three fifths of the size of of that. And then, of course, let's go ahead and get MP10 because everybody kind of owns an MP10 or an MP10 sized figure. MP44 is about the same size, so and I'm not getting them, but um, there you can see he it, it is uh, shorter. Not necessarily to scale. I mean, I guess it could be if uh, this is a, the size of a real human since we have established that the real human that's inside of of the, this Prime is the same size as a Lego. Um, but you put the two sets together and they're about the same length as the MP10, which you can't really tell because there. They're about the same length as MP10. So it's not a bad set. How many pieces did I say it was again? Where did I put the box? That was right there in front of me. This set was 200 pieces. So not a very long set to build. I think the stickers and finding, like, I think uh, it took me 20 minutes. I'm not even lying to you. It took me 20 minutes to find this freaking uh, clear the translucent smoky dark part because um i think on the box or in the instructions it's it's kind of it, it, the, because i guess because it's translucent it kind of looked like it was a silver piece so i'm looking for a silver piece and it was this clear piece right here so keep uh, an eye out for that it is a sort of a smoky smoky slightly grayish translucent piece so that said, I'm Islip. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, that's it for Brick Week, I guess. We'll call this Brick Week. I'll try to get these all out during the same week. So this way we can knock them out. And then next week we'll be, we'll be back to uh, Transformers-related reviews. That said, I'm Islip. Thanks for watching and ciao.